So here's the good thing about what happened with Pablo Hidalgo and Star Wars Theory. Right now, there are a ton of eyes on Lucasfilm employees and the way that they behave on social media. And I think that's a good thing because for years now, since The Last Jedi, they've been running around being terrible to the community, terrible to the fans, terrible to people in general. And it's got to stop because all it's doing is dividing the fan base further. There's no reason we can't just disagree and that be it. But no, they want to take it a step further and they want to call people istophobes and all kinds of labels and take it to the next level. You don't like Ray Skywalker? Well, you're a sexist. Okay, it's not that she's a terribly developed character. No, no, no. You have to just like her. And it's it's really ridiculous. Pablo Hidalgo has been really bad for years. And now the cat's out of the bag. So I want to start here. This started around Gina Carano. This guy did nothing wrong. I want to point that out. He's fine. It leads to what he says to where a freelancer that does Star Wars stuff, so associated with Lucasfilm, decides they want to come out and go after people. So check this out. I've got to say, I don't have to see eye to eye on absolutely everything Gina Carano with Gina Carano for it to be absolutely clear that she rocks. I have huge respect for her openness and honesty. They're admirable and valuable commodities in this industry. We need way more people like her. And she responds, says, thank you for the deepest. Thank, thank you from the deepest part of my heart. Thank you. Great response. And, and Paul here is absolutely right. We don't have to always agree on everything, but you should be able to, at the end of the day, respect people. And, you know, he's saying I may not agree with her probably on some political stuff. He's respecting her because let's be, Gina's great with fans. And that's what we need. We need people that are great with fans. And she absolutely is. And I think Paul here is respecting that. And I think that that's great. But here comes another Paul. He deleted this tweet, by the way, after I retweeted it. And then he blocked me. Basically, he said, yeah, uh, I'm not I'm not cool with her. She spreads misinformation, which are memes, by the way. She sends she spreads memes. And uh, she she lets lets bigots talk to her. She hangs out bigots, which is the go to for all these people. Works for DC, Marvel, Star Wars. Big surprise. I got to tell you, comic book related people are some of the worst people I have ever seen on the Internet. Comic book professionals are some of the worst people I've ever met. So he put that whole tweet is basically cancel Gina Carano. Because she talks to people like Star Wars Girl, Drunk 3PO, me, you know, uh, because she will interact with us. She's got to go. And he deleted that tweet. But you can see some of the response here. Generally, yes. But for instance, if she went on and on about how much she loved Ishtar, I would find it charming. But this is different. If you look at his account, oh, he went protected mode just now. I was going to show you this sculpture here. Uh, this is something he made for Lucasfilm LTD. So we have yet another person associated with Lucasfilm canceling fans, calling fans istophobes, telling them they're trash because they don't line up with him politically. This has to stop. And while the eye is on Lucasfilm, they need to address this behavior. I'm so tired of them saying, oh, well, it's a freelancer. Well, then don't hire them for more work. You can find a freelancer that doesn't tell customers or piles of garbage, okay, to get and do your sculpture. I don't think it's that hard. There's a lot of people out there looking for work right now. Why are people that are shitting on customers allowed to do that? Okay, he's saying that Gina Carano hangs out with bigots. Okay, where's the evidence for that? There is no evidence for that. It's people that don't like the shitty sequel movies. Okay, they're automatically istophobes. All right, but he can go around and do that and then flaunt his Lucasfilm work. That's cool. And it's not just him, by the way. There was an instance uh, the other day with Mitch Dreyer. Here he is right here. Uh, if you don't know who Mitch Dyer is, well, he works for EA. He writes the Star Wars games. He wrote Rogue Squadrons or Star Wars Squadrons and Battlefront 2 and Unannounced Secrets. Uh, so he's associated with Star Wars. Here he is calling the biggest 
the biggest YouTube Star Wars channel, bottom of the barrel, go away. Because he got emotional when Luke Skywalker appeared in The Mandalorian. Okay? He didn't like how he was treated in The Last Jedi. And it was great to see Luke return to form. But Mitch Dyer says, that's bottom of the barrel detected. Go away. This is stuff that people are sick of. And it's got to stop. Why these companies don't have a freaking social media, a, a social media uh, policy blows me away. It needs to stop. These people should not be allowed to sit there and trash customers who love these products and turn them away. Disney. You're losing money every day. Can you really afford to have Mitch Dyer and that other guy sit around and tell customers that they're garbage? How long How long does this get to keep happening? Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think about all of this. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the whole situation. Also, if you would, please like and subscribe. Share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.